Hey Diane, how are you? You know, today I had to go down in my basement to look for some tap shoes. Anyway, to the point. I was in the basement and I was thinking about you packing and prepping your house for sale and about how many times uh, our real estate transactions that we work on are because of needing to upsize or downsize and a big part of either one of those decisions is what to do with all that stuff. Stuff. We all have a lot of stuff. And I like to reference uh, George Carlin's skit, which is probably not safe for work. But, you know, he's talking about how, you know, we got stuff and we got to pack up stuff and move our stuff because we have too much stuff. And, um, you know, when you think of it that way as stuff, it does kind of change your attachment to it. So when I was moving last time, I had to downsize and I had too much stuff. And I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. I had to throw away a lot of stuff. And then there was the stuff that I didn't want to get rid of and I had to really assess it. I would pick up the thing and I would say, is this worth moving twice? Because I had to go to an interim housing. Is this worth picking up putting in a box, lifting the box, moving it twice, and then unpacking it. And in some cases, the answer was yes, and those items are still in a box in the basement. And those have got to go. I once participated in this online community called Fly Lady. I'll see if I can find some information on it for this video. I think it was 30 Thing Fling boogie and you had to go around your house with a box or a bag and you had to pick items to go in the bag and those items were not going back to the house they were getting flung they were getting donated they were getting trashed and it was a way of sort of regularly maintaining the uh, accumulation so Diane I hope the packing is going well and everybody else out there if you've got any other tips or suggestions on how to decide what to keep and what to pitch and how to pack. We'd love to hear it. Leave us some comments below. And peace out, Home Scouts.